Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in Dentistry and more. So in Dental Anatomy, we need to learn 16 teeth anatomy. That is from central incisor to third molar. So 8 teeth will be coming in maxilla and similarly 8 teeth will be in mandible. So this is central incisor, lateral incisor, canine, first premolar, second premolar, first molar, second molar and third molar. So the maxilla and mandible, they are entirely different in size and morphology. So all teeth are important. So any teeth can be asked as a long essay in university uh, dental anatomy paper. So we are starting with maxillary central incisor. So as you see the picture here, which is centered in the maxilla, one on either side of median line with mesial surface of each in contact with mesial surface of the other tooth. There are two in number, which is larger than the lateral incisor. So these teeth supplement each other in function and they are similar anatomically. So major function is to punch and cut food material during the process of mastication. It has incisal edge or ridge and it is not like cusps which are found on the posterior teeth such as canine and uh, premolars molars. It is having incisal edge or ridge. So this is maxillary central incisor and it's system so we have basically three numbering system that is universal system then Zygmunt Palmer system and the third one which is well accepted or currently using FTA system so in universal system which is 8 or 9 so it starts from 1 here 16 17 32 just goes like this so 8 and 9 is the right central incisor and left central incisor Whereas the Zygmunt Palmer system, it is having quadrant uh, system that is one and one. So it just mentioned as one, one. So in clinical scenario, we might have seen this one. So this is Zygmunt Palmer system. Instead of 32, it just divide into quadrant. And this shows the various quadrant. Okay. Whereas the FDA system, that is a two digit system, which is known as 1 1 and 2 1, because the first letter indicates the quadrant. So this is the first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. Next one is a number. So that we have 1 to 8. So 1 1 means the first quadrant and the first tooth, that is a central incisor. So this is 2 1. So the first number is a second quadrant and the first tooth that is a central incisor so that is a tooth numbering system of maxillary central incisors so the dimension average dimension in millimeter the crown length is around 10.5 millimeter root length is 13 millimeter mesiodistal dimension is 8.5 and the same mesiodistal dimension at cervical in line is little lesser than the uh, crown that is 7 millimeter then the labiolingual diameter is again 7 labiolingual diameter of cervical line is 6 millimeter and chronology the first evidence of calcification is at 3 to 4 months that is the first uh, calcification starts it is very early than eruption and crown completion by 4 to 5 years so after crown completion there will be eruption that is after 2 to 3 years that is 7 to 8 years it erupts into oral cavity but still root completion takes more time so it erupts into oral cavity by 7, eight, seven to 8 years but root completion by 10 to 11 years so it takes another 2 to 3 years so crown completed by 4 to 5 years so you can see then it erupts into oral cavity then the root completion happens okay that is a chronology of maxillary central incisor now we'll learn each aspect the first we have labial aspect we have five aspects that is labial lingual mesial distal and incisal so labial aspect of crown so labial surface of crown is usually convex especially towards the cervical third and some central incisor are flat at medial and incisal portion the mesial outline of crown is slightly convex with the crest of curvature that is representing the contact area approaching the mesio incisal angle so this is a mesio incisal angle and distal outline as you see the picture here which is more convex than the mesial outline with a crest of curvature that is a contact point higher towards the cervical line okay this is towards the incisal edge this is towards the cervical line 
and the disto incisal angle is not as sharp as meso incisal angle meso incisal angle is very sharp this is a little uh, curved and incisal outline is usually regular and straight in a meso distal direction so crown length is greater at center than at two mesial ankle and cervical outline of the crown follows a semi circular direction which the with the curvature root wise so there will be developmental depressions present that is two straight developmental depression and shallow depression which is uh, extend from incisal edge towards the gingival and fade out in the middle third and imbrication lines imbrication lines are faint so first thing we learned developmental depression okay developmental depression so each can be a short note now we have imbrication line so imbrication line as you see here it is a faint curved lines which roughly parallel the cj in cervical third of surface and it will not be present always and the height of contour the height of contour of the labial surface is located at the cervical third now we have the lingual aspect lingual aspect has more features the lingual outline is a reverse of that found on the labial aspect lingual aspect has convexities and a concavity the outline of the cervical line is similar but immediately below the cervical line there is a smooth convexity which is known as cingulum which is very commonly as short note so between the marginal ridges below the cingulum there is a shallow concavity which is known as lingual fossa you can see the lingual fossa here the cingulum and marginal ridges so lingual fossa is bordered by mesially by the mesial marginal ridge incisally by the lingual portion of incisal ridge distally by the distal marginal ridge and cervically by the cingulum and developmental grooves extending from the cingulum into the lingual fossa now we have the mesial aspect in mesial aspect as you see here crown is wedge shaped or triangular with base of triangle at cervix and apex at incisal ridge so a line drawn through the crown and root from mesial aspect through the center of tooth will bisect the apex of root and incisal ridge of the crown as you see a line drawn which will be bisect the tooth now the lingual outline uh, as you see here the convex that is a crest of curvature at cingulum then uh, concave at middle portion and slightly convex at lingo incisal ridge so it is going like this okay now uh, cervical line the cervical line which is uh, mesially on maxillary central incisor curves incisally to a noticeable degree now the distal aspect there is a fourth aspect the distal surface closely resembles mesial surface with following exception that is the distal surface is generally smaller than the mesial surface that is how you identify the right and left uh, central incisor because of this incisor cervical dimension is shorter and distal surface is more convex incisor gingivally and cervical margin does not curve as far incisally because it con uh, contacts with the lateral incisor which is a smaller tooth and the curvature of cervical line uh, outlining the cj is less in extent on the distal than the mesial surface now the last part is incisal aspect so a view of the crown from this aspect superimposes it over the root entirely so that the root is not visible so root will not be visible when you properly hold it and view from the uh, incisal aspect so labial face of the crown is relatively broad and flat in comparison with the lingual surface uh, that is especially towards the incisal third and cervical portion of the crown label is convex although the r described is broad outline of the lingual portion tapers lingually towards the cingulum then cingulum of crown makes up the cervical portion of lingual surface so crown of this tooth mm, shows more bulk from incisal aspect than from mesial or distal aspect okay so the labio lingual calibration of crown is more than 2/3 as great as mesio distal calibration so this is the 
labiolingual and this is mesio distal so labiolingual calibration is more than two third as great as mesio distal and the crown conforms to a triangular outline reflected by outline of the root cross section at cervix now the last part is root now we learned the five aspect of crown now the root is single which is conical relatively straight and tapers to a rounded apex and horizontal cross section of root near cervical line shows a rounded triangular outline and normally the root is wider labial which is the base of the triangle and narrower at the lingual which is the apex so mid root cross section usually reveals a somewhat ovoid outline which is wider labiolingually than mesiodistally okay so when you uh, write this for exam you need to draw a uh, picture with proper dimension the dimension i mentioned how how many uh, centimeters it is so proper dimension you need to write and each aspect you can draw in a small box and explain the points so next video is about uh, maxillary lateral incisor if you understood maxillary central incisor so i'll come up with the lateral incisor in next video thank you Thank you.